Good morning, KVC. It's Wednesday morning, June 10th, and I'm coming to you with a word in season out of Psalms 119. We'll be looking at verses 153 through 160 today. So let's hear what uh, the psalmist has to say. Look on my suffering and deliver me, for I have not forgotten your law. Defend my cause and redeem me. Preserve my life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek out your own decrees. Your compassion, Lord, is great. Preserve my life according to your laws. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. I look on the faithless with loathing, for they do not obey your word. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. All your words are true. All your righteous laws are eternal. I know many have been suffering during this pandemic. Um, there, there's loss of job, loss of income. There's been even loss of lives, family members during this time. And the writer is saying, look on me and my suffering. Sometimes we're afraid to ask God. Um, we feel like that he doesn't want us to ask and that we are just bothering him. But over and over, God says to ask. Uh, in the Sermon on the Mount, it says to ask, to seek, and to knock. And so God wants us to ask more than we even want to ask. And the writer's saying, look on my suffering and deliver me. Defend my cause and rescue me. Maybe there's been some injustice this last week or this last couple of months. But cry out to the Lord. Call out to his name. He's our father. He's Abba. He's daddy. He wants to be and to help to be with us as sons and daughters and to help us also. He said, salvation is far from the wicked for they do not seek out your decrees. They don't want to know what the absolute truth is. They don't want to know what the way, the truth, and the life is. Is it any wonder that the world mocks us because they don't even believe what is truth in their lives. He says, your compassion, Lord, is great. <clears throat> Think about that. Um, Seth talked about compassion this last Sunday in his message. God's compassion is great. He is a compassionate father for you and I. Many are the foes who persecute me, but I have not turned from your statutes. The only way we don't turn is if God's word is a conviction in our life, not an opinion. There are many people you can go on Facebook that have opinions, but very few that convictions that they're willing to die for. And that's what the psalmist is saying here. There's many foes that persecute, say all of this kinds of stuff, but I will not turn from your word. I look on the faithless with loathing, for they do not obey your word. See how I love your precepts. Preserve my life, Lord, in accordance with your love. Notice here, he says, I see what the world does, but for me, for me, I love your word. It's life to me. It's, it's nutrients to my body. I love your word, your precepts, and your principles. I love how they give life, preserve my life in accordance with your love. God's love is so amazing. First John tells us that he is love, that he first loved us. All your words are true. Listen today. There are many people saying many different things that you can't trust. But the one person you can trust is the Father. 
His words are true. They're true for you and I, and we can bank and bet our life on it. So today, trust in his word, trust in him, and walk according to his precepts. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for your word, that it truly is life to our flesh and our bones. God, let your word today be a light in our lives. Let it be alive, not dead. Father, let your word Sustain us in the midst of suffering and trials and tribulations. God, just help us during this day to have a conviction based on your precepts, your principles, and not opinions. Take us deeper in you, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you tonight um, <clears throat> is Adoration Part 2. And at 7 p.m. So we'll see you there and also on Friday. God bless.